I get the privilege of uh, reviewing the posh wines, and today's wine comes in a posh box. Uh, it's a Sainsbury's House Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, I think we just went for a box because it was kind of cheap and there's a lot of it. Uh, which is sort of a gamble because we've no idea if it's any good. Yeah, it does say that you know you can you can spend six weeks drinking it. So if it's horrible, then we'll just save it for when we just want a bit more booze and um, we run out of the good stuff. However, it's perfectly drinkable, um, and um, I'm just going to keep spinning the box. <laughs> spinning the box. <laughs> it's perfectly drinkable. Um, I think. For flavour, it's sort of a bit bland, doesn't really taste of much, um, but it's inoffensive. It tastes um, like acid. It tastes like acid, according to Lydia. Uh, I didn't need to repeat that, because it's probably louder than my voice. Um, I keep spinning this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm finding it's actually, um, with some wines when you drink them, you just sort of get a bit wobbly, uh, and some wines, I don't know whether it's just the flavours or whether there are all sorts of interesting other byproducts of the fermentation process which have interesting effects on your brain. Um, but it's making me feel rather nice and talkative, which is why I'm doing a review. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of having a nice time. But uh, as far as flavour goes, we're giving it a three. Um, Lydia complains about it being acidic and makes this face every time she drinks. Um, so yeah, this is our review of the Sainsbury's House Cabernet Sauvignon spicy blackcurrant fruit flavours, which are not really that apparent.